Miss Chan came in with Snowy, a dog who was depressed, lethargic, and unable to walk. She means Dr. Chin in the consultation room. Hello, Doctor. I took Snowy to see Dr. Smith eight days ago. He diagnosed Snowy with liver failure and gave me medication for 14 days. But Snowy's condition is not getting better. So I come to you to seek a second opinion. I see. I will get the medical history from Dr. Smith then. Dr. Chin makes a call for the previous vet report. I received the medical report from Dr. Smith. I can see that he diagnosed Snowy with liver failure. And based on the blood result, it does suggest something is wrong with the liver. Is there a cure for liver failure? I am so worried. Well, it depends on the cause of liver failure actually. Let me examine Snowy first. Dr. Chin examined Snowy and found that Snowy's sclera and skin is yellow, which is a sign of jaundice, possibly due to liver failure. Her gums are pale and her abdomen is distended. I also need to take some blood to get a better picture of Snowy's condition. We also need to do a blood smear and check whether Snowy is having tick fever. But my dog never had tick infestation before. We live in an apartment and I never allow Snowy to go out. I understand. You mentioned it to Dr. Smith too. But since the medi medication did not work, there is a possibility that Snowy might be having other disease. I advise you it is better to do the tick fever test so that at least we know that your dog is not having tick fever. Okay, I agree. We will collect the blood and give Snowy some supportive fluid therapy, multivitamins and antibiotics. Dr. Chin takes Snowy's blood and sends it to the lab. The lab results return as follows. From the blood result, Snowy has a high white blood cell count and Snowy is anemic. And Snowy also, also has a high bilirubin levels in the blood, which is why you could see that Snowy was having jaundice. She also has a low albumin level. Albumin is actually protein produced by the liver. So from the consistently low albumin level, you can see that the liver is not functioning well. Really? Yes, uh, and I'm sorry to say that the kidney has also been affected because the creatinine and urea levels are elevated. Snowy's owner went home and left her to be hospitalized for further care. The blood smear test also brings bad news to the owner. Snowy tested positive to the Babesia test but negative to the Alichia test. Soon after the blood smear results, Snowy's heart stopped despite many attempts to resuscitate her. Miss Chan, I'm really sorry for your loss. We hope that you will be strong. There are things that I need to alert you with. Based on the blood smear, Snowy had thick fever. Medically, we call it babesiosis. How is this possible? I'm very sure that she never had any ticks. Hmm. Snowy's hair coat look well groomed. When when since did you send her for grooming? About two months ago. You see, Miss, for a dog for a dog to have a tick fever, all it took was just one infected tick bite. He might have gotten one or two, and you might not have realized it. But he might have been infected when you sent it for grooming two months ago. But that was a long time ago. If that is so, do you mean? She got the ticks from the grooming center? The incubation for this protozoa parasite could be from 2 weeks to several months prior to exposure. So it's not strange that your dog is only showing signs after 2 months or so. Anyway, I'm just thinking of possibilities how Snowy might have gotten the tick bite. But yet, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's just justifiable to say she could have gotten it at the grooming center. Would Snowy have lived given prompt treatment? 
it's hard to predict from the medical records given by the previous vet. Snowy was already sick 7 days before and thick test was not done that time and it also depends on the stages whether it's per acute, acute or chronic. If the animal is dehydrated, supportive fluid therapy should be given. A blood transfusion is needed in severely anemic animal. These anti-babesial drugs can decrease morbidity and mortality in affected animals. It can completely clear babesia canis. However, high doses can result in liver and kidney failure. This combination of antibiotics has been reported to decrease clinical signs but not to clear infections. This is effective in clearing Babesia infections in humans and mice. How could I have prevented Snowy from getting tick fever? Unfortunately, we don't have a vaccine to prevent ticks in Singapore. But we do have spot on prevention that you can apply on your dog.